What's up guys? Welcome back to Static Garage. I need put gas. It's not on empty. It's on our refill. refill. <laughs> we're gonna be starting off today's video by going to Lids, where we're gonna be making custom hat for Static Cha Cha because I have this one. And we've actually had them for like a couple months already. And you don't want a dad hat. You want a regular. Regular uh, snapback. Where's uh, Martin? Oh, 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 oh. oh, I gapped him, bro. Sick ass. I told you, bro. This one thinks he can fucking. What's that, Dan? This thing definitely needs a wash, though. I've been parking this car outside. I've actually been giving some attention to the E46, and that's been in my driveway for the past week. So the sprinklers do go off all the time, so that's why the car keeps getting wet. So I'm gonna probably have to wash it later on today because we are gonna be working on it. We're going to be installing some motor mounts slash engine risers for this car. So I don't scrape everywhere because this thing is already hitting reflectors. In the camera, it looks so clean right here, but then you see it right here, and it's like so dude. Son of a bitch. After I go for a long drive and it starts getting bumpy, we do have to unplug the battery and put it back on because this car is running off my dad's 335E90 battery, which is a lot bigger, and the terminals are a lot bigger as well. So I do have to either drill out the terminal or get new ones because it doesn't actually fit it, but this battery does work really well, and you can get a bigger capacity battery you just can't get a lower one so that's pretty much the rule so I mean it works fine hasn't failed on me yet and actually failed on my dad that's why he replaced it so this thing's still running good for my car Straight hit the two step right there, bro. Launch that 3200 again. So, you're gonna do the maroon to match your purple? So, you got a static hat too? Yeah, oh, but it's not a dad hat. Ass. <laughs> we also have to get ready for Martin's tune date on Saturday the 17th. So, we're gonna be driving to Westminster? Minister? Westminster? Around LA. Around LA. So, if you guys are around LA and Hi. you guys, um, want to meet up or something um, comment down below or DM me on Instagram because this video will be uploaded a couple days before this one. We're going to be installing Condor Speed Shop engine mount slash risers for the E46. The E46. Fuck. What? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, we have to restart now. We're installing motor mounts on the E30. Not E46. No, they're from Condor Speed Shop. Um, they do raise the motor up because it is slammed like a mother. Can't say that, but muff. Motherfucker. So we're gonna try to attempt to put these motor mounts in. We've never done motor mounts before. I'm just gonna be trying to remove the intake just to get it out of the way because I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to reach down. Gotta pull the turbo out real quick. Oh, yeah, man, the dip stick came out. What a dip stick. I'm gonna have to be removing, I believe this this is the evap system, just to get to the mount from the top because Chachin was unable to get it from the bottom. So there's just a 10 millimeter mount holding it and we should be able to just pull it out. I don't want to pull this out all the way. I can, but since I was able to slide it about two inches, it gives us a lot of room to take that thing out. Kind of scared. Hey, be careful. Huh? What? Motor's about to drop right now. <laughs> oh, I got the first bolt out. Look how nasty that is. Look who decided to show up. Hey, that who's fool. the person that said I look all depressed in the last video? That fool said. I know, that shit was so funny. I was dying, Lucky. And then she showed up. The reason that people watch is because Stephanie. They Let's be real, they every time Stephanie will just sat, sit there and just look pretty. <laughs> At 7.03, Stephanie was right there. Oh my God, looking fire like usual. The engine mounts are loosened up, so now 
Chachin's gonna slowly jack it up and let's see if it lifts it. Oh, did you see that? No. It went up a lot. Yeah. It did? Yeah. So it probably was stuck at first because I think it was lifting the car. Yeah, and then, it, seen it, then it finally broke yeah. loose. We were on like an interlude break and Chachin already took off the other one. I don't know how the hell. These things are done done, dude. This is the normal height. And then with the bushings, it's almost, nah, it's like half of it. One thing I also like about this one is the studs not attached. And there's only one nut on one side versus this one has just a bolt. Inch and a half <clears throat> compared to two and a half. So a it's full inch. one inch. Judge is gonna be trying to fit the mount in there and hopefully it should go in. It's gonna have to sit like that until we're able to drop the, the motor. This side's being a nightmare though. Oh, no wonder. Yeah, that shield. So we could plate. probably just delete the shield. Hold on, you see a problem here? What? Yeah. So what we might have to do is actually remove the just fan shroud. This. Yeah, so we might have to cut this out just to make it work. But if you look right here, you could, it literally looks like it's gonna hit. You ready? Sick. Ready to check? Hold on, hold on, slowly. Oh, that's terrifying. Oh, no, it's not gonna work, dude. No? No. Fuck it, try it. Fuck yeah, just try it. Sick ass fool. I respect you, Martin. <laughs> so scary. Like, we could do this. It does suck that we have to remove this because, like Martin just mentioned right now, it does actually direct the air better and it protects it just in case it's about to hit the hoses or this becomes loose. Hey, remember every time I turn off the car, it like shakes yeah. really bad. If this car. <laughs> I can't even take the intake serious. <laughs> if this motor is idling rough and it's not just the motor mounts then we're obviously gonna know right now because it does it is gonna vibrate a lot more but i mean i feel like it's gonna do more good than bad and especially since it did raise the motor we should have shown you guys how low the oil pan was i'm pretty sure i have it in another video you can see that the subframe is way lower than the oil pan now and the oil pan was lower than the subframe and that was causing some really bad issues you can even see the scrape marks on the oil pan <laughs> There's no movement on that. Dude, I've literally seen it like go side to side. How did it turn on though? Feels good. Yeah? Nice and stiff. How did it feel? Good. Was it like a... Uh, now you know before like you feel the shape? Yeah, the I whole car just... I didn't feel nothing. I heard a little bit. Yeah, but, but I didn't it... feel anything. Watch, look. Ready? Ready? The car has so much angle now. All right, I'm going to be passenger. So I can actually like... Feel, feel it. Oh, I feel, I feel that. Watch. But it's not bad though. Like, I uh, guess it, I just have to replace all the other bushings because the other ones are worn and this one's stiff. So it kind of like just makes it a little worse. You get me? So if the other ones were refreshed as well, then I feel like it'd be a lot better. I like that feeling. Yeah? Yeah. My car is like that with the, with the transmission. It feels box. broken. <laughs> no, it's it is stiff though. I'm just not used to it. We just came back from the outlets just to pick up the hats and they actually look really nice oh, i don't even have that cha -cha dog. and then marin has his he's over here leaving me already like i told you guys i really don't want to do too much um interior install videos so we're just gonna include chachen's racing steering wheel install in this video so we're gonna go really quick just to his house and um install that thing damn where'd this come from sleeping in the dark dog. i know hey but it looks a lot better i mean besides this oh, God, you need to buy the seat already so, the back seats look like really really nice so i just can't even this driver's seat so i just can't wait till the racing seat's in Passive the carpet's seat. black my bad my bad relax he also got a steering wheel which he's had for a while he just didn't have the hub it's definitely gonna make it look nicer we had to take off the, yeah, take this off though i, like I hate this horn button yeah. style what are you doing duck like that duck easy I think it looks really nice, dude. Oh, yeah. It's definitely a different setup and it feels really smooth. The E30 is all clean now. I definitely need to pressure wash the engine bay and get rid of all that oil underneath. But for now, it looks really nice. Just clean it down with some simple green. Today, we were able to get a lot done. We did the motor mounts for the E30, which we all thought was going to be a nightmare. It was going to take forever because we've never done motor mounts. And especially on an E30, we didn't know what to expect. But that went well. We got the hats made and we installed static cha-cha's 
steering wheel from NRG so that's gonna be good because finally the interior is coming complete he just needs seats and just to spray the door panels on that note hope you guys enjoyed this video like subscribe and share we'll see you guys on the next one